Hi guys, it's Megan. Today we're gonna be making the perfect soft yeast rolls for holiday meals. I'm gonna start by warming up milk to the point of slightly simmering and then I'm gonna put it into this bowl to cool it down just slightly, cool enough, so just moderately warm so the yeast doesn't die and then I will add the yeast to the warm milk. Let's go. Okay, while that's warming up, we're gonna get together some of the other ingredients. We're gonna start with five tablespoons of butter, and it's at room temperature, so it's pretty soft. Three tablespoons of honey. Okay, now I will add two eggs. Now I'm gonna add a teaspoon and a half of salt and then I'm going to mix it. Okay, we're ready to mix this, but first I'm gonna check on the warmed milk. This is ready to go. I'm gonna pour it in the bowl to cool down. Okay, while that's cooling, we're gonna start the mixing. Now I'm going to add the flour. I am adding two and a half teaspoons of yeast to the still warm milk. This will sit for 10 minutes up to a half an hour so it can bubble up. And that was four cups of flour. Now we will mix with the bread hook. The bread hook can only go up to speed two. Okay, while that's mixing and the yeast is blooming, I will butter the pan. Looks like the yeast has now bloomed. We are ready to add it to the mixer. I like to double check that I've added everything before the final mix. We have one cup warm milk, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, three tablespoons honey, two eggs, five tablespoons of butter, one and a half teaspoon of salt and four cups of flour. That is it, we're ready to go. Okay, this dough mixed for 10 minutes. I'm gonna remove it from the bowl and oil the bowl and put it back. I like to use the dough to oil the bowl. That works for me. I find it to be a really, really good way to do it. You pour the oil in the mixer and then you wipe the bread around in it. Now this will sit for one hour cover. Okay guys, this has been sitting for an hour. We are ready to weigh it out. Okay, I weighed the dough. It was two pounds, five and a half ounces. That divided by 12 rolls is 3.1 ounces per roll. I'm gonna roll it up and pop it in the pan.
Okay, now all of these have been measured out. These are gonna sit for another hour and you can put it in either the warmer drawer or the proofer drawer on your oven or let it sit as is on the counter. Either way will work. It's been an hour. Let's take a look at these. Wow, those are way, way bigger. They look amazing. This is perfect, this is what you want to see. First they were small, now they're big. They're ready to go in the oven at 375 for 14 to 16 minutes. These have been in the oven for 15 minutes. Let's take a look at them. These look amazing. These are perfect. From the start size to this, amazing. They're pulling away from the edge. They're slightly brown on top. They bounce back when you touch. That's hot, that's really hot. Now, you could have done this putting raw egg on the top and then baking it, and that's called an egg wash, and it would give it a silky, shiny, glossy, crunchy top. I want to use butter, which is gonna give it a softer, richer taste. Be sure to brush around the edges. This is the final product. This is what we've all been waiting for. These are amazing. Just perfect, everything I wanted. I'm really looking forward to sharing these. Don't forget, you saved yourself a lot of money. These are 12 organic biscuits for less than $4. It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe for more content like this. If you had success with this recipe, please let me know. Feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, bye! Oh, less than $12 for four organic biscuits. <laughs> okay. <laughs>